why am I crying? Why am I breathing hard? Why am I feel like I'm, my chest is about to explode? Why am I shaking when people are coming around me? I don't know why. I didn't know why. I got a therapist and a psychiatrist. Okay. You know why? Because I'd rather pay a stranger to keep his word mm -hmm. than tell somebody that might tell yeah, and that sell you it. Know. Have you dealt with depression? Have you had to battle that and overcome that? Or it's just, you know, maybe family members or, you know, how has that touched your life? I found out, well, at nine years old, I, I realized, now I realize I had, um, I was clunkily depressed, bipolar, um, severe anxiety, uh, really, really like a, a hard HDHD, uh, a spectrum of autism mm. and and um, uh, dyslexia. Mm. But I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. It's like, why do, why am I crying? Mm -hmm. Why am I breathing hard? Why am I feel like I'm, my chest is about to explode? Why am I shaking when people are coming around me? I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I didn't know why. And it's like, I want to ask. But then, like, it, you're afraid to ask because then you see how other people and you see their reactions to other people. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm, so, I'm I'm just, I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. So I'm depressed all the time. And I don't know why. It, it That was the thing. It was like, I don't know why I'm like, I want to find out why am I like this? Mm -hmm. You know, and why why does it, why does it, it's so hard for, for our people to acknowledge mm -hmm. what's happening. Like, we we have been through so much. It's natural. It's 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 it. What's going to happen? Mm -hmm. It's generational things that are building up. Just in any like, I mean, the um the Jewish community, I'm like dude, they went through some. Them, them years was crazy. Yeah. Of course they gonna you know. Mm -hmm. So imagine four hundred years of yeah. that. Yeah. You know, yeah. like. Dude, they were throwing us overboard. Mm -hmm. If they wanted to rape us, they did. If they wanted to bunk bunk us, they mm -hmm. did. You mm -hmm. know what bunking does? Yeah. People don't know what bunking is. Mm -hmm. That's not taught. Mm -hmm. They literally they take the will and manhood, like the spirit, out of you, mm -hmm. and you have to still function. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and it's like, people are trying to normalize that now. Mm -hmm. You think that's where your your depression uh, precipitated from? For me, mm -hmm. it I, I, now that I think about it, I think when my father became the mayor of our city, mm -hmm. because I remember the early eighties. Yeah, and now you know how old I am. <laughs> At the early eighties, it was it was fun, but there was sometimes I was feel, I didn't know why I was feeling a certain way, mm -hmm. but I still you went through it, mm -hmm. and when mm -hmm. the whole everything changed when my father was in politics and my mom got, you know, elevated to her, her positions. I mean, I got my ass kicked so many times. Mm -hmm. Like I hate your father, pow. You mm -hmm. know, uh, I, I mean, they made me eat dirt. It, I, once I got thrown off a roof. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's other stuff too that I don't think I should say. So, but, but it's, but, but it was like, that's just one part of the depression. Mm -hmm. And then I'm having, panic attacks before I go to class. Mm -hmm. I'm having like, like it, it feels like a heart attack as, and, and you're 10 years old. How, how, how have you been able to deal with it and navigate it as you've gotten older? When I turned 23, I finally went to a hospital mm -hmm. and got, you know, diagnosed with everything. Mm -hmm. And when I did, it was a relief. So when I found out, I said, well, there are things to treat it. So I've been through just about almost every pill there is. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about all types of different medications where I couldn't sleep, I couldn't stop shaking, that was wrong, or like Zoloft, which for, for what it did to me, it takes everything off, everything. I have mm -hmm. no energy, no mm -hmm. will, I'm just a zombie, mm -hmm. you know? And I had to find, it took me years to get the right medications, it took the right doctors, mm -hmm. but eventually once I did, it started to work. Mm -hmm. And then I become an actor and I'm traveling mm -hmm. all the time. So how do I do that? Because you have to, certain things are, you know, narcotics like Adderall. Mm -hmm. Right. And you gotta get, you know, monthly, yeah. you know? I could be, like a lot of people, they just buy a whole bunch of them, mm -hmm. you know, and lump some in from somewhere. Right. But I'm not gonna do that. Mm -hmm. But 
once I realized I, I mastered like the organization mm-hmm. of it, like I know when it's time for me to take um to get refills mm-hmm. before I have to go somewhere and you know, my wife makes sure I get the refills and she'll send it to me, mm-hmm. you know, or like something like that. Mm-hmm. So I and like that I had situations where I I I couldn't get my meds. Mm-hmm. And if you don't have your meds after a couple of days, withdrawal. Mm-hmm. People people don't know about withdrawal. It it it, it it's the it's a feeling mm-hmm. it's you're you're achy and feeling all over, you're sweating. Mm-hmm. You you just you, you can't control what you're even doing mm-hmm. you know and you know i re- i learned now that you always got to make sure you you take yeah. your meds what are some of the other measures that you take i mean do you meditate do you have a, a spiritual center do you you know yeah um you know like i got baptized last year mm-hmm. i've never got back i've always been in the church mm-hmm. you know i'm I'm a preacher's kid mm-hmm. you know and i really i think i experienced god when right before I got married, mm-hmm. like, like I got really back into the word and, and everything. Mm-hmm. And I wanted it to be, you know, I was a two bit whore mm-hmm. when I was a kid younger, mm-hmm. you know, because I was, I was mad at women. Mm-hmm. I actually think I hated women mm-hmm. and I used sex. Where'd that stem from? You think? I think from being dissed all the time. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah. Cause I was, I, I was a short fat kid. Okay. With man boobs oh, shit. and hips. People thought Damn. I was a girl. I swear to you. <laughs> I remember. I'm it, sorry, I don't mean no, to laugh. no, 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 no. I laugh at it. I was at a barber shop, <laughs> and this little little bastard of a kid, this little bastard, said, "No, he can't. He said it's my turn. This is a. That's a girl. She's supposed to go to the salon." And I was just like, "Wow, damn, that, yeah." Oh, you little shithead, you know. Damn. But uh, yeah, yeah. So you know, yeah. You had a pretty traumatic childhood. Oh, okay. oh uh, man! Like if bullying, I could, they if, thought you. Oh, was, it, yeah, it's it's real. Like it's dread. real. It's 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 crazy. Damn! But and that's you know, only the shit that you're sharing. Like, but but then that's another thing. Something mm-hmm. needs to be said between you, mm-hmm. God, and your loved one or mm-hmm. your your therapist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, listen. Did you go to therapy too? I still go. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I got a, I up. got a therapist and a psychiatrist. Okay. You know why? Because I'd rather pay a stranger to keep his word mm-hmm. than tell somebody that might tell yeah, and that sell you it. Know. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's common sense. That's right. And I was like, I'd be telling that to other people. Like, dude, you need to go to talk to someone. Mm-hmm. You keep that in. It's mm-hmm. only going to explode. Mm-hmm. And and once it, I'm like, there are men punching women. Mm-hmm. You're they're punching him, and it's and it's on television. Mm-hmm. Like, yo. No man's supposed to hit no woman. Right. I don't care if if the if the woman is is a champion. You don't mm-hmm. hit no woman. Mm-hmm. Like we need to bring back the old certain certain type of conduct of mm-hmm. what men is supposed to be, just off the the simplicity of meeting a woman. Mm-hmm. Open the door, say mm-hmm. hello. If she is she mad, say respectfully. Right. I'm gonna go, but have right. a good day. There's no need to be like, bitch, this. I'm like, nah. Yeah, that's that sucker that shit. That shit is whack. That shit, weak as shit. Yo, yeah. I hate soft dudes. I feel, yeah. when I'm around soft dudes, yeah. I feel like I'm going to catch what they got. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I feel like. So I have to be in certain situations where I feel like, yo, I'm, I'm feeling my spidey sense is tingling. I'm feeling like, yo, I'm, I'm going to get something. I'm like, I won't be able to stand when I piss. Like, no backbone and some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah. like I come you, yeah, you know, I know what I'm saying? Exactly what you're talking like about. the like when Jim Brown pal was like, yo, and that was my pops, like yeah. good buddy. Mm-hmm. Like I grew around, you know, dealing with like Fred Williams mm-hmm. and and these type of men, Richard Roundtree, mm-hmm. cert, like like not even they don't have to be um um, um uh, actors or mm-hmm. whatever, just or, like dudes from my block. Yeah, this is a man, man. Yeah, it's the man that yeah. like the, like my 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 my, my father in law. Mm-hmm. Yo, <clears throat> he don't say shit. He just he just do it. Mm-hmm. He just he, that's it. He's still working. Yeah. I'm trying to get him to retire. He don't get he don't care. He's still like, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. It's yeah. just like that. Right. I mean, right. Just do it. Mm-hmm. People talk too much. Yeah, they do. Absolutely. I agree with you. I don't like right talking. You know what? I would I I have to, I used to have times where I would go somewhere and not speak on purpose. I would try to do it for more than one day, but that's kind of impossible. Yeah. yeah. When you have people, yeah, like some you hear thing, you hear the right things when you're mm-hmm. just quiet. Right. Right. You know, and that's part of my therapy. Yeah. And, how how yeah. do you how do you navigate all of those things? Um, I guess 
being in the business because you have to deal with so many personalities you have to deal with levels of bullshit you have to then you're acting you're being you but then you're being these other characters and you take how do you keep all of that in perspective with with obviously and i don't mean this to sound like yeah. disrespectful yeah. but with a level of you know mental um i don't want to say illness but, Dude, but i had no you know. i i i deal with mental illness Karma's on the way. What goes around comes around. Karma's on the way. There's nothing you could do now. You gotta pay.